in the previous video uh, I showed you how to remove the AC compressor and it is a part of uh, a sequence to install new compressor and new condenser new expansion valve uh, for this car Mazda 3 2006 so after removing the compressor uh, we need to flush and clean the pipes for the AC system as I mentioned before in the previous video um, the problem here in this car is the compressor is not working and then we need to replace the compressor and in this case the system called the contaminated uh, system and it is highly recommended to replace the condenser and the expansion valve in such case and before replacing all of these parts uh, we need to make sure that the pipes itself is also clean not can uh, not contaminated so this is what we will do in this video we will uh, flush the pipes of the ac and make sure that it is uh, clean using a, sp a special uh, chemical um, uh, fluid specifically for AC systems so a quick look at the pipes for the AC system uh, this is the condenser in front of the car and the compressor should be down here but we removed it in the previous video and the compressor has two pipes connected to it one is low and another is high this low pressure pipe goes from the evaporator to the compressor and after the compressor the pressure will be high so this pipe will take the refrigerant from the compressor with high pressure to the condenser so it goes like this under the coolant reservoir and then go to the condenser right here so this high pressure pipe go to the condenser and the flow will go to the condenser and then the dryer and after that it will come back from this pipe after this uh, after that the flow will go to the expansion valve so this pipe will go all the way to the expansion valve right here inside the cabin makes the expansion and cooling in the uh, heat uh, sorry in the uh, uh, evaporator and then the cycle will be repeated so mainly which pipe is the most pipe uh, that's contaminated is a pipe after the compressor because the, the compressor is a part that has a problem so mainly the the pipe that um, carries the flow from the compressor to the condenser this pipe is the most pipe that most probably has the highest contamination so this is the most important one to be cleaned and to be to be well flushed after that the, the other pipe the, that uh, takes the uh, refrigerant from the condenser to the expansion valve this is the second one and the third one that is low pressure takes the flow from the uh, evaporator to the compressor this one most probably it is clean you don't need to clean this pipe um, and also the pipe uh, comes from the condenser to the expansion valve this one most probably you don't need to clean it but the most important one is this one so uh, we will clean this pipe and we will try to clean the other one that goes to the expansion valve but before that we have to remove the expansion valve to clean this pipe and uh, and then the other steps the next steps that i will show in the next videos uh, how to replace the condenser 
and also with the expansion valve okay so to do this flushing process so we are going to use this uh, as uh, the air conditioning fast flush and uh, we need to have uh, this kit the uh, flushing kit it is basically this cylinder and connected to a hose connected to uh, uh, the air compressor here and uh, it has this to uh, to get the uh, this fluid out of the cylinder so mainly we will fill like one third of this cylinder with this fluid and then we will pass the fluid inside the pipes with uh, after pressurizing this uh, um, cylinder from the air compressor so the fluid will come from here with a high pressure so this fluid will be directed to the pipe that you need to clean it and flush it uh, so it will be uh, uh, enough to clean the pipe from inside uh, mainly we need to repeat this like three times uh, to make sure that the pipe is uh, clean and good uh, to get this toolkit um, you have two options you can uh, buy it from Amazon or uh, uh, what I did is I rent it uh, from um, AutoZone uh, because you are going to use it just one time so it is, uh, it is not worth it to to, to buy a toolkit uh, and this for sure I will put the links uh, that I used to buy this stuff uh, from Amazon in the description box um, and let's start uh, just before uh, starting, uh, make sure that you follow the instructions here uh, in the cylinder and make sure the pressure is not exceeding um, 125 psi gauge. Uh, it should be between 90 and 125. I will use like 100 psi gauge. Okay, to flush the pipe, uh, make sure uh, to flush it by the opposite way of the uh, original flow direction so like this pipe it takes the flow from the compressor to the condenser so the flow should be this way so the flushing should be on the opposite way so the flushing should be like this from the condenser to the compressor in this way in this direction so first we need to remove these two bolts uh, one two to uh, disassemble these two pipes from the condenser these two are uh, 10 millimeter bolts uh, here we got uh, these two bolts and then the next step is to remove these two pipes from the uh, condenser just pull the two pipes uh, this is the first one and this is the second one uh, it may not uh, come so easy like this um, so maybe you need to to hold one side of the condenser by uh, by one hand and the other side is pulling the pipes uh, yeah, so this is the pipe that we wanted to flush. This should go to the uh, compressor down here, this one. Okay, so let's see what would be the steps to flush this pipe. I have here the compressor. It is uh, It has a pressure of 90 PSI gauge and it is connected by this hose to the flushing tool and then um, I need to fill the flushing tool by this fluid 
I bought here about one third to half um, with a bottle and then I will close it yeah after closing the uh, the bottle the next step is to open this valve that will allow the air the pressurized air goes from the compressor to the bottle then the fluid inside the bottle will be pressurized and it is ready to go from here under the core i have here this container to catch all the fluid that will drain from the pipe this should be the pipe the open one uh, the one that has a balloon is a closed one uh, i closed it by the balloon to make sure that no nothing will go inside this pipe to make sure it is clean uh, let's go from the other side Okay, here is the bottle, the pressurized one, and here is the hose, and the fluid should go from here. Uh, while making this, make sure to have gloves and wear eye goggles, uh, just for safety purposes. Uh, I will put the hose like this, and press the the red valve right here and we will hear the sound of the fluid going inside the pipe Now it starts to go from uh, the pipe to the container under the core. Let's see what's happening under the core. Yeah, it seems that the fluid didn't come exactly inside the container, but that's fine. It is non-toxic, uh, non-flammable fluid. So it should not be a problem. So let's continue. Yeah, after finishing all of the fluid inside the bottle, you can keep uh, moving some air inside the system. To make it dry and then that's enough uh, if you need uh, if you feel like the system is still not clean enough uh, by the color of the fluid comes out from the pipe if it is still like um, green color or a little bit green not clear color um, so you may you may need to uh, do it one more time or three more times or two more times it depends uh, but I think the color of the fluid comes out from the pipe is is good so this should be enough okay now we done uh, we are done with uh, flushing flushing and cleaning uh, the high pressure pipe uh, we may need to um, do the same for uh, this pipe uh, that goes from the condenser to the expansion valve but to do so we have to remove the expansion valve first and do it from inside to outside uh, I think the next step is uh, we can put the new compressor uh, because uh, the two pipes that uh, that are connected to the compressor should be ready this one that comes from the uh, 
uh, expansion valve and the uh, evaporator from the cabin it is ready and the one that we just cleaned uh, that goes from the compressor to the condenser it is also ready so uh, we can install the new compressor and then we can move forward uh, to the other ports condenser expansion valve and also cleaning flushing the pipe if we need uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see the, uh, the other videos and uh, thank you for watching